What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to John Gleason Sunday Funday. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to do a cobra weave on your platform for saddle hunting. I got the Predator platform. You can really do this on any other platform, even some tree stands or sticks. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys how I did it and uh, my process. So stay tuned and enjoy. Okay guys, so this is the Predator platform, and uh, as you can tell, I did a, did a quick camo paint job on it. It doesn't look too great, but you know what? I'm going to be 20 feet in a tree anyway, so who's going to really see it? Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to shoot a video on my Cobra Weave. I started here, I went around the front end, and uh, stopped it here where the angle is. So then I, I realized that I kind of wanted to actually bring the cobra weed from these two points back to this angle here so this is really where my feet are most of the time when I'm going around the tree uh, so anyway I just wanted to shoot a video of making that cobra weed from here to here on both sides so stay tuned okay guys so being that I'm doing the cobra weave starting where I left off I'm going from there to here what I'm gonna do is take a tape measure and measure what the distance is from that point to here, which it's about seven and a half. So with the cover weave, you want a foot for every inch. So that's seven and a half inches. I'm gonna do a little extra and just call it eight feet. So I actually have the two cords cut already at eight feet. And then uh, I'm gonna get to wrapping. Okay guys, so now that I have my cord, I'm going to snip the ends so that there's no fray. I got my scissors, snip the ends just so there's no excess fraying coming out. These scissors are a little weak, but whatever, whatever will work. So then what you're going to do, now that you cut it, is take a lighter and burn the ends. Try not to let it burn too much and the plastic will drip. Oop will drip onto your hand and trust me it hurts so there you go you go like that you take metal and just squish that down and before it's too cooled what I do is I go like that just be careful when you're doing this make sure it's a little cooled off before you do it because you will get burned so do that to each end on every cord and we'll get to wrapping once we're done all right guys, so what you're gonna wanna do is find the two ends of the same rope, match them up, and go all the way down, keeping those ends together, and find the center of that rope. So this is the center, that's where the center mark would be. And uh, on this project, I actually have this big chunk of uh, you know aluminum right here that I could start the wrap tight against where I left off last time, but what I'm actually going to do is just skip over that. That's like a half inch, maybe an inch. Uh, I'm just going to skip over that and start my knot right at the end of this one here. Okay, so that's where I'm going to start. So what you're going to want to do is take the center mark that you have on that rope and just put it right behind your project where you're going to start. And then you take the right side of that rope and pull it through. So now that we have where we're going to start, you're gonna take, I like starting with my right side. You're gonna take it, create a loop, and create another loop on the left side. So now you have an, a backwards S, right? So then what you're gonna wanna do there is take your left rope, go from the top on the left loop, behind the project, and then from behind the right loop, and pull all that ex extra cord you got and while keeping this center right where it has to be, you're going to want to cinch that tight. And you're pretty much essentially creating a knot, and this is what's going to start your, your uh, weave. So you want to make that nice and tight. You might want to wear gloves because you'll get some blisters tightening this rope. This is going to take me quite some time. So Now what we're going to do here is do the opposite of what we did for this weave here you're gonna take the left side now instead of the right you go right left right left right and that'll keep it even just like this so then we're gonna take the left side and create a backwards s so you go around here so you have a loop on the left and a loop on a loop on the right so then from there we're gonna do the same thing just the opposite we're gonna take the right strand go from the top on the right loop 
behind the project, and then from behind the left loop, pull all that extra cord and cinch this tight, just like that. Nice and tight, guys. As tight as you can get it, because that's what'll make it last. So then we're gonna do the same thing, right instead of left, make that backwards S, just like that. From the top on the left, behind the project, from the bottom on the right loop, and cinch that tight. So now, from here on out, you're gonna gain some speed, right? So, just gonna go like that. Top, behind, bottom, through, cinch that tight. So that was left, now you go with the right. Top, bottom, through, cinch that tight. And you're just gonna repeat the process, guys. So I'll do one more for you and then I'll start doing a hyperlapse. Top, bottom, through, just like that. Oh, here you go. So this is a perfect example. If you can see here, I did a double. So I must have done on the left side two times. Because you can see, like here is nice and even and symmetric. You got left, right, left, right, left, left. So we're gonna undo that knot right there. And this is gonna happen, especially if it's like, I haven't been doing this for a long time either, so. So now that I have the left knot, I'm gonna start it for the left, because now this one is gonna go over, under, behind, and through. And you can see right there, I fixed that problem. So now you have left, right, left, right, left, right. And then we're gonna do it the same with this. This goes over, behind, and through. So now I'm back on track and I'm gonna gain some speed. So I'm gonna put this on hyperlapse because I got a, a, about 14 inches to go for both sides. And uh, yeah, stay tuned, hope you guys enjoy. this one side weave and we got left right left right left right left right all the way down so it's even I actually made a little gap right here and you could see it a little bit but being that I kept the same pattern with the left right left right left right it kind of just followed around that iron or aluminum right there so it's very very unnoticeable of course because I did it I'll notice it but so now what we're going to do here is make sure these ends are super, super tight. 
as tight as you can get them. And then what we're going to do is leave like maybe a quarter inch of cord, snip it off, take a lighter, burn the end, make sure it's nice and melty. Just don't drip it on your skin because it will burn severely. And then once it's melt nice and melted, you're going to smash it down so it creates a mushroom and that will never fall back out. So you do the same to the other side. Make sure it's super tight. Again, guys, you don't want this falling out. Grab the scissors. Leave about a quarter inch. Take the lighter. Singe that end as much as you can without melting it on yourself. And just like that like button, smash it. Smash it down. So then you have a finished weave. Here you got the end of the cord where I cut and melted. It's flat, it'll never come through that loop. So now I got the front of my platform and one side of my platform. Now I'm gonna do this side, guys, but that's all you really needed to see. I'll show you the finished product when I'm done. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see in future videos, all right? Have a good one. Peace.